Welcome to Health Beat Now, your ultimate source for all things health and wellness. We are thrilled to have you join us on this incredible journey towards a healthier, happier life. Each week, we delve into the latest breakthroughs, cutting-edge research, and expert insights to bring you the most up-to-date information on health and wellness. From nutrition and fitness to mental well-being and alternative therapies, we cover it all, ensuring you have the tools and knowledge to make informed choices. We believe in bringing you real-life stories, inspiring journeys, and practical tips from experts in the field, so you can witness the transformative power of health firsthand. And let's not forget about you, our incredible viewers. This channel is a community of like-minded individuals who are passionate about leading healthier lives. So, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the Health Beat Now family. Get ready for captivating, in-depth explorations, and exciting surprises. It's time to embark on a journey that will revolutionize the way you think about health and wellness. Thank you for tuning in to Health Beat Now, where we empower you to live your best life. Remember, your health is your most valuable asset, and together, we'll unlock the secrets to optimal well-being. West Nile virus cases detected nationwide signals summer risks. As the warmer weather approaches, the threat of West Nile virus transmission from mosquitoes looms over the population. Health authorities across the country are reporting an increase in cases and positive samples of the West Nile virus. In an announcement made on Friday, the Iowa Department of Health and Human Services disclosed the first reported case of West Nile virus infection this year. The case involved an older adult aged between 61 and 80 years, residing in Plymouth County. The confirmation of the case was made after conducting tests at the state hygienic lab. The department highlighted that the risk of mosquito bites increases during the summer season when people spend more time outdoors, as these bites serve as the primary method of transmitting the virus to humans. Similarly, in the first week of June, the Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services reported its first human case in the Three Rivers Public Health District. Fortunately, the infected individual did not require hospitalization. According to data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, as of June 13, there have been a total of 13 cases reported across the United States this year. These cases have been identified in various states, including Oregon, Arizona, Wyoming, Nebraska, Illinois, Louisiana, Georgia, South Carolina, and Pennsylvania, with four cases occurring in Arizona. The CDC also reported over 1,125 cases of human disease caused by West Nile virus in 2022. In Texas, the Harris County Public Health Mosquito Vector Control Division confirmed the presence of the virus in a mosquito sample collected in the 77,005 zip code area. In response, the division immediately initiated evening spray operations in the affected site and surrounding areas starting from Friday night. Iowa confirms first West Nile virus case of 2023. Des Moines, Iowa. The Iowa Department of Health and Human Services has recently confirmed the presence of the West Nile virus in Iowa for the year 2023. The infection was detected in an older adult between the ages of 61 and 80 in Plymouth County. Dr. Maximea Vigilant, the division director, expressed the importance of their mosquito surveillance program in identifying the virus and protecting the residents. Vigilant urged people to enjoy the outdoors during the summer months, but also reminded them to take necessary precautions to safeguard against mosquito-borne diseases. In a statement released on Thursday, the Southern Nevada Health District revealed the identification of virus-positive mosquitoes in the 89,074 zip code area of Clark County. The Southern Nevada Public Health Laboratory conducted the analysis, having tested over 7,000 mosquitoes this year. Although no human cases have been reported in the county so far, health officials stressed the need for residents to eliminate mosquito breeding sources and protect themselves from mosquito bites, considering the active presence of West Nile virus in Southern Nevada. West Nile virus cases typically occur during the mosquito season, which spans from summer to fall. The South Nevada Public Health Laboratory and Health District staff have conducted extensive testing, examining more than 7,000 mosquitoes this year. It's important to note that there are currently no vaccines or medications available to prevent or treat the virus in humans. However, according to the CDC, most people infected with West Nile virus do not experience any symptoms. 
About one in five infected individuals may develop a fever and other mild symptoms, while approximately one in 150 may experience a severe and potentially fatal illness. In 2022, Iowa reported nine cases of West Nile virus with no fatalities recorded. To prevent the virus, it is crucial to minimize exposure to mosquito bites as they remain the primary mode of transmission. Mild cases usually resolve on their own, but individuals experiencing severe symptoms such as severe headaches, disorientation, or sudden weakness should seek immediate medical attention. West Nile virus mosquito discovered in Bell County. Waco, Texas, KWTX. Officials from Bell County Public Health confirmed on Friday the identification of a mosquito carrying the West Nile virus. The mosquito sample was collected in North Temple on June 14 and subsequently sent to a lab for confirmation of the virus. While the risk of contracting the virus in Bell County remains relatively low, health officials urge citizens to take precautionary measures. These include using mosquito repellent and wearing protective clothing during the early morning and evening hours when mosquitoes are most active. They also emphasize the importance of following the three R's, reduce mosquito breeding sources, repel mosquitoes, and report any concerns. West Nile virus is primarily transmitted through mosquito bites. The Texas Department of State Health Services reports that only 20% of individuals infected with the virus develop symptoms, which may include headaches, fever, muscle and joint aches, nausea, and fatigue. Stay tuned for our next episode, because at Health Beat Now, the pursuit of well-being never stops.